when you look at nutrients like zinc and phosphorus that basically are immobile in the soil. You've got a long-term solution, you have a short-term solution. Here's what I mean by that. If I want to fix my soil overall for the long term, I'm going to go out and broadcast phosphorus and just raise the whole level of the soil. I'm going to do the exact same thing with zinc. Now, like Darren said, we might only need this in parts of fields, but we'll vary that rate with a broadcast fertilizer through different areas in the field. I can do this very inexpensively with zinc. Zinc sulfate is really cheap, but again, it's not going to move much in the soil. So it's hard for your plants to find it because the plant roots don't just magically know, oh, there's a little zinc pellet way over here. I'm going to send my best root after it. It doesn't work that way. So that's why we say, hey, this is really more long term. We want to get the soil built up and eventually that zinc will get into the plant. For the short term fix, it's more of we want to put starter fertilizer out there, put a low rate out of zinc right on the planter. A lot of times people are talking a quart, quart and a half of some type of liquid zinc. That works great. You want some kind of zinc chelate that's available for the plant. Awesome. You can also do a little bit of foliar feeding later on, but we want to start the plant off right with zinc and that's the best way to do it.